Welcome to Gimme Apps here at more, the number one independent app store. Today we're checking out John 8, best quick note taker. This is by another app company for Android. Guys, this is a note taking app. It works with tablets and Android phones. Easy interface lets you write stuff down quickly and save it. Organize jots by category, the notes are called jots. View your jots at any time. Simply switch to your phone after you jot something during a call. Share your jots easily with a click of a button via SMS and find your saved jots later. Guys, one of the cool things about the app is that there are no ads. It is not a free app. However, it's worth its weight in gold because you're going to see no ads, no interruptions whatsoever. One of the cool things here is you get a bunch of categories you can choose from. Miscellaneous passwords, emails, phones, pins, confirmation, logs, doctors, birthdays, anniversaries, accounts, and gate codes. You can see the app over here on our phone as well. We're going to talk about why we have our phone and tablet out in a minute. And keep in mind, with tablets, there is more screen real estate, and that is why we're using this in this overview. So we're going to jot in um, a note here, or a jot, if you may, and we're going to say, give me apps is the best. We're going to make this super simple, and once we get that typed in, I put give me apps the. We want to go back is the best and once we get that in here uh, we are going to save it and once we save it and by the way we need to select the category we're gonna go with miscellaneous and we're gonna save that jot your jot got saved you can see it right there and once it is saved you can see a bunch of other jots that we have here we have a fake phone number as you can see right there remember to download jot it you can see right there at the bottom so we have four to five jots excuse me five jots one of them is blank and you can see the categories here phones miscellaneous etc etc so those jots can be accessed at any time take a look at some of the items here you have your phone icon there that will take you straight to calls you have your share icon your trash icon and of course we can go and check out other jots and there you have it so we're gonna go on in and check out some of our other jots now keep in mind we can just tap that and boom there are all of our jots we can edit the jots whenever we want and take a look at these icons here at the bottom of the screen uh, above the keyboard here you have your copy so we can copy some information though that are that is in this jot copy remember the download jot it there you go and that is what we have in the uh, jot itself we can send this out via SMS all right, and by the way, uh, we are on a tablet here, but if we did that uh, using uh, our phone here, take a look, and that's why you saw that message just now, we can simply do that, and boom, we can open it up with our contacts, that would be our SMS, we have Facebook Messenger over there, and Hangouts, all right, so keep that in mind, you can share it that way, and just want to add again that we're using this on our phone and tablet, and our tablet isn't connected to any... Um, SMS or any service, which is why you saw what you saw, but on the phone, which is hooked into the Sprint network, you can see that we have those options there at the bottom of the screen. We can also trash our jots by tapping on the trash icon. We're not going to do that right now. However, uh, you can update the jots if you added something as an example. We're going to just um, add some more exclamation points. Let's just do that. Boom, boom, boom. There it is. And take a look at that. It's going to say your jot was updated. All right, so one of the cool things, again, is that you can, uh, you have all of these categories over here. You can change the category name, which is pretty cool if you wanted to do that. And guys, this is a very straightforward app. If you are looking to keep your notes organized and you don't want the hassle of ads and you love the fact that there are many different categories, this app is what you are looking for. Uh, we can do one more here. We're going to use our phone this time, actually, and go into another category. Uh, let's go with uh, email. All right, let's see right here it says emails. We're going to select that category. And uh, we'll just make up a, an email uh, address. So here it is, guys. We're going to type that jot. We'll put jot it at jotit.com. Why not? Why not? And you can see there we have that at jotit.com. And once we save that, there it is. Your jot got saved. And you can see that it is right here. We're pointing that towards the camera. And of course, we have all those cool options on the bottom there. You can send it out. And take a look at that. Same deal, Messages, Messenger, or Google Hangouts. That's what we have on this phone at the moment. So you have the ability to share all the stuff that you want to share on this app. Now, if we go back to the main menu, I took my phone off the camera for a moment. But if you see, look at this share icon. You get the same options over there. The share icon is right over there, just to show it to you. You have your phone icon there as well. All right, and boom, it picks up the phone, Skype, and voice. So you can shoot that straight to the phone if you're talking about phone numbers as an example. So you have lots of options uh, within the app, which is pretty cool. 
All right, and uh, some other functionality, just so you know, you can tap on Jots to access your Jots as well. You can see it says four miscellaneous Jots. And so there it is. We can go by category. Uh, it's up to us, guys. Um, take a look. There are no password Jots, so you can filter by category. Um, one of the things I like about the developer, I'm going to say this, is uh, when we did when we started this overview, uh, we noticed that uh, we couldn't, uh, I'm just typing random stuff on the screen here. Uh, you see this? Key repeat, very simple, most apps have it. We reached out to the developer and said, hey, uh, this wasn't uh, in the app. It wasn't enabled, and they fixed it right away. So I just want to point that out because it's always great to reach out to developers and let them know how they can improve their apps. And if they're responsive, uh, that means that they are hungry for um, you know increased functionality. They're hungry to keep their uh, customer base satisfied. And if you're spending a little bit of a coin on an app, then you definitely want to have that there. So big shout out and props to the developer. Guys, this is a very, very simple and easy to use app. One of the cool things is that you can share this with anyone. We're talking about the Jots that you have saved um, in Jot-It. And of course, you also can um, do all of the things that we show you here in the app, which is always a good thing. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this. Uh, this is Jot-It. We're not going to take this off of our phone. We find a lot of use with this one. And, uh, you know, this is making us happy. So, check it out, guys. This, once again, is Ja It Best Quick Note Taker. This is for Android. You see that we showed it to you on our tablet and our phone. It works great. Uh, of course, you can share stuff via SMS. We didn't show that here because I didn't want to show any of the phone numbers in this device. Uh, we don't want to have any issues. So, with that in mind, it's a very easy to use app, as you can see. Do shout out to the developer. This is another app company, Jot It. Pretty cool app. It is $1.99. And, uh, like I said, ad free, no hassle, easy to use, straightforward. Uh, guys, remember with Jot It, Jot It so you got it. That's straight from the listing. Give Me Apps is the world's number one independent app store. We're the only app store on the planet where you can download apps for any category. And if you're a developer, you can keep the full 100% of your download sales. No other app store anywhere. Let's do that. Reach out to the developer. Let them know how you're doing. Leave some comments below this video. Let us know how the developer can improve the app. Let us know if you like this app. And of course, like we said before, reach out to the developer and let them know what you think. Guys, it requires Android 4.4 and up. That's many, many, many devices. Download it. Check it out. Another app, comp, another app co at gmail.com is the email address for the developer. Guys, we hope you enjoyed this. We enjoyed this a lot. We'll catch you in the next one.